All right, welcome back, folks. So part 11 of the Must Learn KQL series, the summarize operator. So the idea here is we're just trying to get more fidelity on whether our query means anything, you know, from an operational security perspective. So this is going to give me, uh, in the last hour, how many successful logons, and I'm summarizing these by the number uh, by account and computer. So if you look here, you can see that for DC01, 294 machines have logged on successfully to that domain controller in the last hour. Now, if I wanted to make this slightly more useful, I could also, that's not how you spell sort, sort by the count. I run that again. So this tells me in descending order what domain controller in this, I know it looks like there's other things been here, but domain controllers are the most uh, logged on, which makes sense. So it tells me in descending order which one had the most logons. All right, now let's look at another example with failed logons, and I had to go back 180 days uh, in my in this test environment to actually get some some good data. So you may want to change that before you run this in a live environment. So what does this tell us? That this tells us that um, a machine account has failed to log on to SQL 00. 36 times in the last 180 days. And then if you had, you know, a lot more rows here, you could do, again, sort by count, and then put it in, put it in ascending order for you. Make it a little more useful. All right, so there are some simple and advanced aggregation functions. Uh, count is a simple. There are all, there's also some average min-max. I won't give you examples of all those, but you can kind of play around with those as you need to. So argmin, argmax, these are advanced aggregation functions. So in certain circumstances, this may be useful information. So what is this telling me in the last 30 days? 4625 of NID, so failed log on for some reason. And I'm summarizing argmin would be the first uh, instance of this 4625 by this account. So you can see that was on the 16th at 11, 18 a.m. So if I change this to max, this should give me the most recent account so and there you see the date has changed from 3 to 3:33 p.m. so an example of how you use argmax argmin there's also percentiles and a couple others one of which is count if so this one is kind of interesting so what is this telling me I had to go back 30 days so again you may not have to do such a long duration you know a live environment but for the last 30 days, I'm going to summarize and create another column called useful or user successful logons. And what I'm going to base this on is I'm counting a user account and with a VIN ID 4624. So that would equal this column. So that tells me users have logged on successfully 266,000 times in the last 30 days. I can compare that to failed logons for users. Again, the second piece here is 4625, so that's a failed logon. And I'm going to create another column called user failed logons, and that number tells me there are 4,400 failed logons in the last 30 days. So you can kind of do some compare and contrasting there using count if, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's kind of scratching the surface on summarize, but that gives you an idea of how to use summarize in some of the advanced and simple aggregation functions. So 
that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.